The product modulator takes an incoming signal and multiplies it by a sinusoidal carrier of the form amplitude times cosine 2 pi FCT, FC being our carrier frequency. It has a special requirement of having so-called unit energy per bit. So to help understand this, remember that the amplitude would be the uh, deviation of the sinusoid from zero. Also recall from uh, circuits courses that you took once upon a time that the power of a sinusoid knowing the amplitude can be found as the amplitude squared divided by two. Now alternatively you might recall from power associated with AC sinusoidal steady state that if we know the RMS value of the sinusoid we can square that and that also is an indication of power. So we know that the RMS value would be the amplitude divided by square root of 2 and when we square that we see that we have the same thing. It's the amplitude squared divided by 2. Now energy of the waveform over one bit interval if we know that the power is a constant we simply multiply by the time period. So power times time would be energy. We've figured out what the power is. The time is the bit interval T sub B. And the requirement for our sinusoidal carrier is that it have unit energy, which is the same thing as one. So we equate this entire expression to one and then solve for the amplitude that makes this condition or makes this equality work. So we solve for AC, our carrier amplitude, and find that it's square root of 2 divided by T sub B. Now why do this? Normally for digital signals we think of signal strength as being expressed in terms of energy per bit. So if we can get the sinusoidal carrier to have unit energy per bit, then our energy per bit value, E sub B, can then be used to choose the appropriate amplitude for the end result.